I also don't know like what other blush color to try. I think I might try this soft smile one. So we have two different blush sticks. I think I want more of these eyeshadow sticks because I think they're like the ones on the website. So let me try this rose gold. I grabbed the green. This one's called Thrift Shoppers, so we're gonna grab that one. This mascara looks sick, so it's like colored. They also have like a liquid eyeliner, but I'm not really a big liquid eyeliner person. I want to get this green gel liner. I want to get a black one because I use black when I wear falsies, so I feel like that makes sense. So we have this. I want to try a lip. <coughs> Gloss, but I don't think I like like any of these shades. It's behind me. Um, and all diapers. The thing is, I don't think like any of this stuff goes together for me to make a face out of it. I don't know if this is like a setting spray, but we'll give it a try. I've got like seventy dollars in my hand here, but we're gonna give this a try. I was excited to try this because I've always wanted to try her makeup line, and now that there's one at Walmart, it's a lot more accessible and affordable. And I want to know if the quality is good, so I'm still going to have to get something from like her name brand, like her main one that's at Ulta now, to see and compare if it's the same quality or not. And I haven't filmed a makeup video in ages, so hopefully you guys appreciate this. Over $100 later, and I have a single bag to represent this, so hopefully this stuff is good. I have very high hopes. Several days later. We're gonna do this thing. I'm very nervous. I haven't filmed a makeup video in a really long time since I tried to do like the music makeup Mondays and those kind of flop. I don't know. I just feel like I struggle with makeup videos. Like, just feel like I'm never good enough. I have my bag of goodies from Walmart expensive bag of goodies um i'm still super sad that they didn't make a like fluid eye paint for this collection because that's probably the thing that i've wanted the most from the about face brand i did just place an order finally did it i placed an order um they were pretty much sold out of every single color not surprised love the success for them but obviously i'm not gonna be able to like compare contrast and i really didn't want to buy anything other than the the fluid eye paints, if I'm being honest. Like, your girl's wallet couldn't really afford the fluid eye paints, but I did it anyway because I've wanted them long enough. Yeah, we have this Pleat the Fifth 5-in-1. I don't know, like, if you're supposed to spray this as, like, a finishing spray or, like, a primer. So, I think I might use it as both. I've already washed my face. Uh, my skin's a little dry, but... Like that it's not super tacky upon first spray not really like a strong scent at all I did get some of my lips and honestly even just by like the little like it didn't leave like any sort of like stinging or like like soapy sensation in my mouth you know sometimes if you know you know I am gonna try to only use her products but I do have three things that I use staples so I don't know if you could technically like use an eye primer with these shadow sticks, but I'm gonna use the eye primer because your girl needs it. Um, my eyes are very much pale and therefore they are like veiny, they look a little bruised sometimes, they look purple. We are just gonna kind of do our own 
thing and we're gonna try this makeup and you know makeup is for everybody anybody can do makeup anybody can try it so I think I'm going to do the rose gold because I just think it's really pretty I just think it's such a pretty shade like I know it's so boring I know it's so boring y'all when I say this is creamy this is really creamy like especially on the eye oh this is flawless application oh yeah this is really really nice I do think I need some sort of base or something I feel like it's not a strong enough color but oh my god I could definitely see myself using this like every day do you see how easy that was just to like pop on this is like pretty pretty this is this is so nice this is so nice and easy like are you kidding me it would blend a little bit but it definitely wouldn't blend like a lot a bit now I have this random pink shadow on my lid but it's fine we're just gonna do the same thing over here to even it out even putting it on top of that color that we had in the crease oh so pretty we're gonna try this on the lower lash line like kind of like blending it upwards situation I don't know we're gonna give it a try it could totally butch this whole thing like I've already said but oh honey Oh, she's definitely giving pigment. And when I say lower lash, like I'm not doing my waterline. I'm literally just doing underneath my waterline. We're going to take a break from the eyes and we're going to figure out which blush stick we want to use. I'm very excited because your girl is a blush lover. Oh, okay. So this one's like a really corally color. Like a really, really, really corally kind of situation I think it's a little too coral for me this is first prize Let's see I think this one's gonna be more yeah so this one's a little bit darker but I do love a darky kind of blush so that's fun so I think we're gonna use soft smile I do have real freckles but I like to emphasize them with a freckle stick and my favorite freckle stick right now is the one from Colourpop it's the only one that I seem to like love I'm gonna have to order another one soon because I think this one is drying out and I have a pimple I just found so that's great gonna handle that but yeah so I like to add some some fake freckles in the mist of my real ones and then I take a wet beauty sponge and I just dab them a little bit and it kind of makes them faint and then they kind of just fall into my natural freckles which is what I love so I'm gonna use this soft smile and we're just gonna I don't really use blush sticks so I don't know if I should just kind of like dab I think I'm just gonna like dab it I feel like it's a very hard to use like a blush stick so I'm gonna go in with this brush and just kind of swirl it around oh oh okay so it's like super pigmented and like you think it's scary but then once you like blend it out y'all that is so pretty very very subtle very very quick and go a lot of this i could see like having in my purse and just kind of doing it like, I mean, if you're in the parking lot and you got, like, five minutes to work or something, like, this stuff is quick, honey. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh. Okay, I'm obsessed. That is stunning. Love. I'm going to put on my highlighter now. Which, there wasn't a highlighter, I don't think there was a highlighter, unless I was blind, in this Walmart collection. So let's see how pigmented these are. The only experience I have with colored mascaras is ColourPop. Oh, this is like a purple purple. 
Hmm, I don't know about this one, y'all. I feel like colored mascaras are just so hard to deal with. She's glowy and she is proud. Let me tell you though, this shadow stick, y'all, this is gonna become like an everyday because it is just such a pretty color. I feel like colored mascara only really works when it's the only thing that you're wearing. This lip gloss, now this is slam dunk and it is definitely a nudie patootie, but. I'm gonna go put on some falsies and I'll be right back. And we're back. What do we think? What do we think? I honestly feel like this is very much giving me Joker vibes, which wasn't my intention, but it kind of happened. Now, obviously, would I wear this out in public? Probably not, unless I was going to like a concert and like these were some of the colors. I think that it could work. Yeah, I do think that the colored mascara works super well on falsies. So what the move might actually be is to do regular mascara and then take your falsies and do the colored mascara. And then when you apply them, you will get more of like an ombre sort of effect versus this like chunky effect that I have because I used it on my natural lashes as well as my falsies. Playdate multi-use cheek and lip color as well as the Shadow Boxer Eye Crayons. These are fantastic. And this shade specifically because of my skin tone is a perfect like everyday wear sort of color. The lip gloss is good too. I think for the price point, it is very nice. The quality is there. It's not super sticky. It's not stringy either. So I think the lip glosses are nice as well. I just wasn't a huge, huge fan of many of the shades, but this nude is super nice. I don't really know how to rate the spray because I don't really know what its intention is. The mascara, I don't really know how to rate. I think, again, if you use it on falsies, it's a lot easier of an application than using it on your natural lashes. It's okay. I feel like it's a very, like, neutral ground for any sort of colored mascara. But for the price point, I definitely think the shadow boxer sticks and the uh, blush sticks are where it's at. I can't wait to use the other shadow sticks in the future, and I can't wait to see if they expand on this collection and they do it, you know, like seasonally. There's like new stuff being added to it or what to expect or if this is like a one-time deal. I don't really know. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you guys picked any of this stuff up for yourself, let me know what your favorite product was in the comments. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.